All right, so congratulations to Anthony Joshua. And still, apparently he dominated the fight. Now, I didn't watch the fight because I haven't got access to it, um, obviously, because where I live. But I followed it on Twitter, and apparently he dominated it from top to, top to bottom, round three, two knockdowns, and then later. I kind of uh, looked away for a bit, and by the time I got back, round nine, he'd uh, just came back immediately to look at Twitter, round nine, and he'd... Uh, KO'd Pule apparently altogether four knockdowns in total. So that's good. You know, I mean that's very good. Actually Pule performed worse than I expected. I thought he'd have a little bit of success, but you know what? Prior to the fight, and this is the absolute truth, you know, because I don't like Pulev, I think that he, he he made that racial statement deliberately. And then they cover it up. They, but the people that do that, they know exactly what they're doing. And I'm sick of that shit. Okay, but it is what it is. So, you know, I was kind of like, you know, I can't stand this cocksucker. I really don't like him at all. And, you know, you get those type of people anyway. And he's just been on some bullshit for a minute. So, um, so I went back to watch his fight against Chizora. And I did notice that whenever Chizora would attack him, he would lock Chizora up and then start rabbit punching Chizora. But Chizora would start, you know, hitting him back. But Chizora didn't really have that much success. I, can't, I don't even know what year it was. But I kind of knew there and then that, listen, man, this guy is very limited. Plus, the explosive thing that he does, he doesn't even have power behind it. He doesn't have that much power behind it anyway. So, and uh, there was um, the dead giveaway, of course, was he was just trying to be wee, a wee bit too intimidating. And I think, like, you know what? When he uh, put that glove on and he slammed the glove together and said, I went woof. You know, I burst out laughing. I was kind of surprised that Joshua didn't burst out laughing there because it was just so contrived and so fake. And it was a dead giveaway. Like, listen, you're going to get beaten. So, uh, but you know, anything can go wrong in boxing. So I have to say I was a wee bit, just a teeny weeny bit nervous because of what we know. Because once Anthony Joshua dropped him in the third round and I could read that it was getting, you know, there was a lot of people rubbing their hands with glee because you've got a lot of Anthony Joshua haters out there. A lot of hate is out there, and the devil is a liar. You, this is where you know that Bob Aram is a chronic liar. Bob Aram was like, "Oh, Pulev is gonna, he's gonna beat Joshua." Was he gonna say that? Listen, Pulev was dreadful. Apparently, the only thing that you could give Pulev credit for, apparently, was the fact that he didn't go down earlier. They didn't get stopped earlier. That he he was able to uh, uh, stick it through to about round nine. But Anthony Joshua dominated his fight. And lastly, I'll say this. I know that Tyson Fury loves to say that he doesn't care, but he has to let everybody know on social media that he doesn't care. I'm not going to fight because, you know, listen, if you're not going to go, just don't show. But here's the bottom line. And this is a quick video anyway. Bottom line is this. Who needs fucking Tyson Fury to show up when you got Floyd Mayweather showing up to your fight? Seriously. I mean, serious. That that that. I, I'm not even. A, I'm sick and tired of Floyd. But that when Floyd shows up, that endorsement there will drive the you know, water fans crazy. That's one. Tyson Fury himself will be pissed up because once more, once more, it's almost as if Floyd is saying that this guy, Anthony Joshua, is the rock star that you have in Britain. Now it is what it is. You can accept it. Whatever the fuck. But Anthony Joshua is the rock star that they have in Britain. And Floyd just proved that right now. Who needs fucking, who needs Tyson Fury to show up when you got Floyd showing up to your fight? Floyd's got, uh, listen, Floyd's got fights going on on Showtime right now. Mayweather Promotions has got fights with uh, Richardson Hitchens and uh, Chris Colbert going on on, uh, on Showtime. So when, when I saw the message on... Um, Instagram that he was gonna go to the fight. I thought nah, that's been bullshit. Don't you have a production going on in Showtime? But he shows up at Anthony Joshua's fight on a, you know, nobody knew about it and there he was Post COVID You've got to say, you know, Anthony Joshua's got these motherfuckers <laughs> I think he's got them shook. You know, what I mean, he's got the industry on lockdown in Britain anyway I know expect Deontay Wilder will come out with some hating ass bullshit. Expect the Deontay Wilder fan club to go crazy about that. That's all. Oh, the hate's going to be serious. But it is what it is. You know what I mean? If they're not hating you, you're not doing something right. I'm not a Joshua fan, but I fucking love the events. I do. 
I love the events that 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 the combination of him and Eddie Hearn, whether you like it or not, it fucking works. And people are jealous of it. 